Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Last time I tried a sandwich from Jimmy John's. So, thought only appropriate that I check and see what other deli sub companies are making that's new and uh, available to me right now. And of course, I went with the company that has the most locations worldwide of any fast casual uh, fast food kind of location and that is Subway um, Subway has their motto of eat fresh so we'll see how fresh the food is I'm actually going to be trying two sandwiches there um, because I wanted to I basically chose two things that have some newer ingredients that I have not tried yet um, one of them is called the Benissimo and this is in their vault lineup of items that are all basically celebrity endorsed they have like five or six different celebrities who basically all told them their favorite uh, sub to order and I got the Benissimo for a few reasons um, one is because it has the peppercorn ranch sauce that I have not had yet I don't think but uh, also the celebrity person involved in this one is Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo is a quarterback for currently on the filming as the 49ers, San Francisco. Um, but more importantly, he is a graduate from my alma mater, EIU, Eastern Illinois University. Just like Tony Romo, um, the former Dallas Cowboys and current uh, NFL broadcaster. Both quarterbacks for Illinois, Eastern Illinois University Panthers, uh, go EIU, and um, they both set records. Tony Romo's number was actually retired at EIU. Um, I think Garoppolo beat a lot of Tony's records while in college. I uh, don't think his number is retired yet, but I'm assuming at some point that will happen. Uh, interestingly enough, Jimmy Garoppolo, getting the endorsement from Subway, I have a problem with. Because in Charleston, Illinois, the city that has Illinois, uh, Eastern Illinois University on it, is the town that had the first Jimmy John's sandwich shop. Uh, the first Jimmy John's sandwich shop, which I actually ate at. It was the first time I ever ate a Jimmy John's sandwich was at the first Jimmy John's sandwich shop. Now, if you go to Charleston, Illinois today, that shop no longer exists, uh, but they did build a newer uh, facility really just across the street from where the old one was. I'm um, not sure if the old building still exists, but one interesting I found out, the Jimmy John's that I ordered from, it's close to me, um, you know, they have the, like pictures and flair everywhere, has a photo of Jimmy John himself selling a sandwich from the first uh, Jimmy John's location. Um, so it was interesting going there, ordering a sandwich, and seeing the picture of me like, hey, I've ordered sandwiches there before. The first time I had a Jimmy John sandwich was from that shop. Um, and the first time I had a Jimmy John sandwich, I, honestly, I wasn't impressed. Um, but I think I just had a bad one because every time after that has been spectacular. Uh, without further ado, let's get back to the Subway sandwiches, which Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo, Jimmy Johns, he's from EIU, um, EIU has a, in Charleston, Charleston had the first Jimmy Johns, it would just have made more sense that way. Ah uh, yes, here we go. The Benissimo is an irresistible combination of rotisserie style chicken, tangy pepperoni, and a hair around my eyeball. Provolone cheese, spinach, tomato, and creamy peppercorn ranch on a toasted, fresh baked Italian urban cheese. And that's what I got. I ordered exactly how it is online. And here we go to taste it. Really get a nice amount of pepperoni flavor. Mm. 
Root tender chicken kind of looks dry, but it's not as dry as it looks. And with the, the ranch and tomatoes on here, I think there's enough moisture on the sandwich itself. It's not a bad combination. The pepperoni provolone go together very well. It's interesting that he has spinach instead of just regular lettuce. Spinach has more of a flavor to it than regular lettuce does. The tomatoes on here are pretty thinly cut and don't have much flavor to them. It kind of just adds like a little moisture to the sandwich. Nothing like those roasted tomatoes from the Jimmy John sub. Mm. Not bad. It's like a 7 out of 10 sandwich. Not terrible. Um, the peppercorn ranch sauce, it, uh, it definitely tastes like ranch. But the peppercorn part of it kind of like builds up. So like the more you eat, I think the more peppercorn chunks you get in there, you chew them up, it releases more pepperiness into your mouth. So it's a nice build of peppery flavor. The second Subway sandwich I got is called the Matza Meat. And I got this one because of a ingredient on here. Actually, there's two ingredients on here that I supposedly have never tried. And that is supposedly this is... No. This was supposed to be fresh mozzarella. Hold on. This is provolone on this sandwich here. They're the same thing. Okay. Well, th there's two things on here that's new that I haven't tried. Now there's only one, and that is supposedly their new capicola. That's this darker meat here on top. Subway. Matza meat should have mozzarella on it. Did this say anything on here that it didn't have any? Yeah, this is matzo meat sub. Here's what's supposed to come on the matzo meat sub. Thin sliced black horse ham, new Italian style capicola, and Belgioso fresh mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella is indistinguishable from provolone. No, it's distinguishable from provolone. You look at the picture of it. It's a thick cut fresh mozzarella. Okay, this review already gets two thumbs down because of this situation. Uh, there's also a vinaigrette on here. Um, fresh baked artisan Italian bread topped with spinach, tomato, red onion, banana peppers, and drizzled with our famous MVP Parmesan vinaigrette. I don't think I've tried their MVP Parmesan vinaigrette yet. So other than this not having the fresh mozzarella on it, which was a big reason that I wanted to try this, Let's try the vinaigrette and the capicola and see if I can tell you anything about those. You know what this could have used? Fresh mozzarella cheese. 
Tomatoes have the same issue as the other one. Thin cut. Really light pink looking tomatoes. The vinaigrette sauce is fine. The main flavor I taste in here is the vinaigrette sauce. It doesn't make it really special. Let me see if I can try some of this Capicola. Capicola is not bad. I really wish this would have had a fresh mozzarella on it. I guess there's one bad thing about pre-ordering from Subway. I guess you really have to keep your eye on them the whole time. That's why they're there behind the glass. Because they're going to screw up. And you got to be there to watch them to correct them. That's where all those places that have the people making behind glass, that's why it's there. You're their supervisor. Probably it save money by not having a real supervisor or a real quality control they just want you the customer to be the quality control that's why that you can watch them do it so i guess the lesson here is never pre-order or have a subway delivered to you because they will screw it up they know you're not watching anymore so why would we even try all right the bellissimo one was fine the matzo one the, the word is matza meat. That's the name of the sandwich. If you don't have matza, it's not a matza anything. Zero out of ten. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it a lot more than I uh, enjoyed filming it. Um, pretty frustrated about this. Um, I'm actually taking a break from doing some work, putting up some cabinets. I was going to enjoy this time, but now I'm going to go back to working frustrated. Anyway, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section below, preferably one complaining about Subway. See you in the next one. Bye.